Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Alright, WWE, it's hump day by the way. No pun intended, but uh, WWE crew is currently on a 15 hour flight to Sydney, Australia for the company's latest down under tour of Australia and New Zealand. Uh, ratings are in for SmackDown's uh, Monday Night Raw show, uh, or Raw Roulette show. Raw drew a uh, 1.3 rating with about uh, awful close to 5 million uh, viewers for the two hour broadcast. Uh, the show's hourly ratings was at 1.1 and 1.16 and the two hours were all ranked at number one, number two, overall blocks of television on all of cable that night. Uh, now, you know they had the CM Punk deal. They did a normal rating. Well, nobody knows ahead of time, us fans anyway, what's going to happen, you know, the punk's going to cause all this stir, stir. but uh, now that it's been all over the place, all, all across the internet, uh, on in print, everybody knows about it, the ratings should go up next week because they're going to tune in to try and find out, well, what's going to happen with him. So anyway, sources that report that uh, CM Punk's entire promo at the end of Raw last week uh, was improvised by Punk and not scripted. Nobody in the back knew uh, what Punk was going to say until he uh, said it live on Raw. I don't know whether they were hoping he'd say something profound, and he did. So that's kind of odd they do something like that, especially when the guy is not at the end. You know, if it was the last day of his contract, last show would be something different. I just thought it was kind of odd. But anyway, WWE officials told Punk to go out and say in his own words why he was leaving the company, why he wanted the WWE title, and why he wanted to leave with it in his possession. And there was a discussion that the officials felt Punk was going too far, though. And they pulled the plug on the segment and cut the mic. <clears throat> now, whether uh, who did that, I'm not sure. But they were probably afraid that uh, they would get fired if they didn't pull the plug. It was said the Punk was upset months ago uh, when Triple H uh, came back to feud with Undertaker, and while some of his comments on Raw towards Vince McMahon were well thought out uh, to uh, appear not as a shoot to uh, the average viewer, but uh, most believe the Punk's comment towards uh, Triple H and John Laronitis was strictly, strictly a shoot. Word also is that Punk had some notes on, uh, for his speech jotted down on his wrist tape. Uh, as far as his contract status, Punk, uh, his deal apparently expires the second week of July, but he signed an extension through Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which they do that quite a bit because uh, they build up to, you know, grand uh, exit. Anyway, still with last night's new storyline development, uh, sources maintain that Punk is leaving at Money in the Bank. Now, you heard different stories that uh, if you heard it online, somebody with a camcorder oh, uh, had Michael uh, take Michael Cole saying that Punk is suspended indefinitely. Well, now supposedly on, uh, I believe on their website, I haven't looked on WWE's, but I think they've suspended him from television. And he's going to be doing it, fulfilling his uh, uh, agreement uh, uh, and his contracts with, uh, Raw, uh, with the WWE. Uh, at house shows, you know, and other things that not televised. So that leads me to believe that he's going to be at the uh, Money in the Bank because that's not televised. That's a pay-per-view, and that's not the TV show. So anyway, there we'll see. And if he leaves, he's going to be taking Money in the Bank, uh, 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 rather the title, to Ring of Honor. I suspect what he was kind of hitting at. And if he takes it to Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor's been working a little bit with WWE lately, and uh, that's nice. They got a little plug. Don't know whether that was planned, but uh, so if he takes it to there, he could take the belt with him, and it could be all a little bit of a ploy, and he'd lose it there to somebody in a match, and then they're the ones that's coming back uh, from Ring of Honor to WWE. Or he may just win, and hey, I've got a new contract. So we'll see. Or he might just lose and go bye-bye. As noted before, WWE did say on Raw that Mason Ryan was injured over the weekend, but he didn't work any live events either. 
Uh, F4WOnline.com reports Ryan suffered an injury out of the ring and will be away from anywhere from six weeks to six months. So he must have been doing some silliness. It could have been weights. could have been uh, a lot of guys going on sickles and died on They get hurt. Or he might have stumbled and fell. Uh, TNA's Matt Hardy, by the way, who's currently out of action, reportedly uh, suspended by the company, tweeted the following on Wednesday about his time off. It's uh, amazing how healthy your body is when you actually don't have a, uh, when you actually have a chance to rest it and not take bumps every night and don't travel on ungodly schedules. He says, I'm getting better. The Rock, in his latest uh, former WWE superstar to uh, sound off about Punk's promo from Raw, he says, unlike most wrestlers who uh, posted positive reactions to Punk's promo, Rock uh, stays in character and lets Punk know who the real star in WWE is to this day. Because Punk brought him up. He, Rock says, CM Punk, it's simply business. The Rock is the main event at WrestleMania because it draws more money in one night that you, than you will in a lifetime. And could be awful, awful true. The Miz wrote uh, that he filmed something earlier today, uh, this morning for WWE that's going to be airing in about a month. So next month, well, please make a note of it now because next month we'll see what the hell is he talking about. Could be something to do with the DVD of uh, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Former uh, WWE diva Zarina Deeb, remember her? She turns 25 today. She shaved her head and part of the clan for a while there. Uh, Bret Hart wrote the following on, uh, about CM Punk leaving WWE. He says, I can't help but feel like Punk leaving WWE is like Steve uh, Carell leaving the office. Oh. John Cena wrote the following on his Twitter regarding Punk's promo. It says, C Nation headed to Australia. Very exciting. I feel as if I do not need to comment on Raw last night. I think what happens need no explanation. Plus, he don't want to get in trouble. And for what it's worth, he said the people in WWE Magazine wrote the following online uh, after Monday's Raw. The mood backstage is edgy, to put it mildly. mildly. Uh, CM Punk is uh, in a meeting with a lot of people. He just called out. Anyway, WWE added the. Oh, by the way, Cena's, uh, Cena's uh, theme song is now on iTunes. If you want to pay, you, I was it, ninety nine cents, dollar ninety nine. Uh, WWE Raw brand is heading to Australia. I've told you that their first show is going to be Friday in Sydney. Uh, JBL posted the first uh, video blog where he uh, talks about Eddie Guerrero, CM Punk leaving WWE, and more. Uh, you can watch it on Facebook. Uh, if you can find it. Sure you can. That Phoenix, who's been linked to CM Punk, by the way, wrote the following about his segment on Raw. So many of you asked me about my feelings on Raw, or how Raw uh, went off the air. Shocking, he says, she says, compelling and struck a nerve. Passion and talent cannot be denied. Jeff Jarrett, of all things, and Hermie Sadler's All Wheel, Wheels Wrestling will tape their uh, first pilot for the Speed Channel tonight at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. They posted the following updates on their uh, Facebook page yesterday about the concept of the show. It says, as you know, wrestlers earn uh, points for their uh, team, all wheels wrestling match, and uh, each week there's going to be a different specialty match. Speed matches, giving wrestlers a chance to uh, quickly learn, uh, earn several points for their team. I don't know whether they're wrestling or not. As soon as they tape it, uh, I'll give you the spoilers on what's going on. Each week, uh, teams rank one through four based on points that they've earned throughout the season. Fans will be able to track their favorite team. I, I'm confused. Anyway, as noted before, Jay Lethal will be team captain. Davari is going to be captain of another one. Sunday Jut, uh, another one, and uh, Aaron Aguilera is going to be captain of another team. Wrestling personality Johnny Fairplay noted uh, online yesterday that he is split from his girlfriend and wife, Tough Enough contestant Michelle Deaton. Fairplay wrote, yes, I'm separated. Uh, Michelle was served with separation papers on Friday. I wish the best in her in all her endeavors. It's kind of like WWE tells people. Uh, hey, I'm about out of time. Uh, thanks for clicking, you guys. I got to go.